On the 23rd of February 1997, a sheep called Dolly poked her nose through the pen of a research institute in Edinburgh and the world was introduced to the first clone of an adult animal. It was a scientific breakthrough of the first magnitude. What the scientists in Edinburgh had done successfully for the first time was to take a cell from one adult sheep and grow it in the laboratory for six days. Next, they took an unfertilized egg from another sheep, extracted the DNA and mixed the two together. The resulting embryo was then implanted in a third sheep, which meant that the offspring from the third one was an exact copy of the first. It sounds complicated, and it is. Before the Edinburgh experiments, eggs had been artificially fertilized to produce identical twins. Now the new technology made it possible to replicate the same animal across the generations. By doing away with the random elements in genetics, by knowing exactly what you were going to get in any kind of breeding, theoretically a woman could give birth to an identical copy of her own father. The ethical dilemmas in Dolly's creation were horrendous. The man behind the research, Dr Ian Wilmot, explained. I don't think we can begin to estimate uh, what new understanding this will offer, not only for normal health, but also for, for human diseases. And I think that our successors undoubtedly will see that that use will be very important. The news from Edinburgh sent shock waves throughout the world, not least in the United States, where there were no laws restricting the activities of genetic researchers. At a Washington press conference, President Clinton expressed some of the anxieties the new research had raised. Each human life is unique, born of a miracle that reaches beyond laboratory science. I believe we must respect this profound gift and resist the temptation to replicate ourselves. Research into human cloning, the production of replica babies, was already banned in Europe. In America, the Dolly dilemma is under constant review. Will she be used for the good of humankind or for evil? Time alone will tell.